could have a look a little bit further about a couple of uh, specific types of chain rule questions. And the form of these questions that we have here are sine to the power of n cos x and also sec to the power of n tan x. Um, we should recognize for both of those questions that we have at the top, we should recognize that for both of them, you can use the reverse chain rule on them. Why do I think that you can use the reverse chain rule on this thing that we've got here? Because of the power and what else? No, it's not going to be to do with the double angle for the reverse chain rule. Okay, because if you differentiate sine, you get cos. So this one is the reverse chain rule because the derivative of this is this. And similarly for this, the derivative of sec x is sec x tan x. So although you can't actually see that it's uh, a sec x tan x, we can see that there's obviously a sec x tan x in here as well. So I just want to explore these two because these are some quite interesting areas. They're no, really no different to what we've done before. So look, when we differentiate sine to the power of 5x, the power decreases. So if we're going to differentiate sine to the power of 5x, if I rewrite it in the form that we're usually comfortable with, what would that differentiate to? Okay, good. So we get 5 sine to the power of 4x cos x. Notice how the power has decreased from 5 to 4. But when we do sec x to the power of 5, that would differentiate to 5 sec to the power of 4x. And then what would we multiply by? Sec x tan x. So we actually get 5 sec to the power of 5x tan x. So interestingly there, the power stays the same. Let's just try and articulate why the power has stayed the same. Why has the power stayed the same? Because when you differentiate sec x, you preserve the sec x potentially. Yeah, exactly. When you differentiate sec x, it produces another sec x. So the reduction in the power is counteracted by the extra sec x coming in through the chain rule as well. That doesn't happen when you differentiate sine or cos, because when you differentiate sine, you get cos, and when you differentiate cos, you get minus sine. So if we're going to think about how we would integrate some of these expressions that we've got here, that's going to give us a hint about how we manipulate the powers. So when I have sine to the power of 4x cos x integrated with respect to x, what should the power be um, changed for sine? Good. It's going to have to be a sine to the power of 5x. And it also needs to be scaled back by a fifth because when you differentiate the, um, yeah, when you, sorry, when you were to differentiate this, you would get an extra five coming down, which you need to counteract with when we talked about our scaling and things that we've got before. So I'm just going to do this one over here, and then I want you to do the two that are at the bottom. If we're going to integrate sec to the power of 4x tan x, first of all, we can do the reverse chain rule because we've got this sec x tan x kind of the, the bit that was there from the, the differentiation. But we've just said here that the power needs to stay the same. So this one is going to integrate to sec to the power of 4x with 1 over 4 to change the scaling plus c. OK? You can check that by differentiating these functions and thinking about what would happen. I'm just going to differentiate this one really quick. You would have a quarter multiplied by bring the power of 4 down and reduce the power by 1 and then multiply by the derivative, and you get sec x tan x. Clearly, you can see that this is going to simplify to this that we have up here when you differentiate it. So you've got two. Really quickly, I want you to um, work out what the value of those integrals would be. OK? Are you OK, Sodia? Yeah? So some of them, the powers are increasing. Some of them, the powers are staying the same.
if you've finished those, you could begin looking at the questions on the next page. Because all I'm going to do is ask you to start doing those questions on the next page anyway. Zubair, what did you get um, cos x sine squared x integrating to? Uh, 1 over 3 pi t x. Good. Um, Tambo, did you get this one here? Um, 1 over 3 sec t x plus 1. Good. OK, so those are what they should be. It's just about re remembering that sec x has that extra sec x that comes up. So we don't actually increase the power. The power actually stays the same. This is probably. You could memorize this kind of thing, but I'm more pointing it out to say this follows on from our understanding of differentiation and the reverse <laughs> chain rule, that we should be able to have these things in our knowledge arsenal. Yes? So when I took a question one, why would you integrate the constant to the defined bit if that's the bit with the power? We have this bit here. We've just actually integrated this. We've concentrated on integrating the sine bit because the cos bit, we think, is like the result of, um, we think it's the result of the differentiation of the sine power. Do you remember in the previous lesson when we said, we're going to consider that we think this will be like a sine cubed function because we think that cos x as it is a result of the derivative of the sine function. And then we scaled it back afterwards. If you look on the pages that we had before for the reverse chain rule, it was the ones that looked like this, where we had like here. So we said the cos x probably arose from differentiating the sine part. So this meant it could be a reverse chain rule one. And we started off by considering what it could be. And in this case, we considered sine cubed. And then afterwards, we differentiated it. And you can adjust it for the scale. OK. So what I want you guys to do now is to try these uh, five questions that we've got here. And I'm happy, I want to hear you talking to each other about these questions. These questions still use the reverse chain rule, but I want you to just be careful about how they integrate. Don't just do them blindly. Pardon? Yeah, the scaling method is the reverse chain rule. Yeah, the consider something and then scale it, okay? <laughs> 